there are a lot of options out there for certification and sometimes it's very confusing uh, especially for people who are just getting started into the cyber security or looking for the entry level job so what i've done in this episode is i've, I've done my research on to like you know uh, there are a lot of uh, out of all the certificates i have i have described like you know i've divided into multiple domains so depending on your interest which certificate is right for you so i'm i'm only going to cover five certificate in this episode but if you are interested let me know and i can i can go down into like you know certain domain uh, depending on your interest so so be sure to uh, like you know comment in the section below and also hit please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already so let's let's start it uh, so first question is why do you need one right like why do you need certificate let's say you are you are masters in in computer science or 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 like you know i information technology and now you are you want to get into uh, maybe like you know cyber security now the first thing uh, you would see in any job uh, posting or job description there will be mentioned like preferred qualification they'll need one of this certificate and and this will like you know easily uh, have you like you know stand out from the crowd it's not very difficult to get uh, one of the certificate the one that we are going to discuss today it requires minimal effort minimal uh, like you know prep and then you can you can still get like you know uh, stand out of from the differentiate from all the other candidates uh, and the second item is it's going to validate your skills so of course you have maybe some past experience maybe you have done some intern projects into the cyber security but but if you get the certificate it's going to be a credential that someone can say oh yeah this person is certified so i'm sure they must have like you know have the skills so you'll you'll have more credentials than just by having experience and and of course no one wants to like you know uh, if you have two options a hire a candidate who has certificate versus non you have better chance of getting the job not only that but you can also get higher salary if you like you know if you can negotiate that that option as well so those are the like you know primary reasons i've seen I, i've been hiring a lot as well uh, like you know so i've seen this uh, I've, like so far from all the interviews i've seen people with the certificates uh, have better chance of getting the job as well as better salary so we are going to start with uh, number 5 which is which is very common like you know certified ethical hacker ceh you have seen this so many times uh, i think the current version is version 12 or 13 uh, and this one provides like uh, maybe surface level knowledge across multiple domains so it gives you like malware it gives you uh, web app security, network security, firewalls, uh, viruses, Trojan horse, etc. So this gives you a very surface level experience. However, the cost of this certificate is little higher uh, than than I was I would like you know uh, expect. So uh, maybe I, I, um, I wait out for the like you know a uh, few more certificates that we are going to discuss in this course. There is one other which is a little bit cheaper uh, but equivalent, somewhat equivalent to this. So uh, the key point for like this is right certificate for you if you are a beginner if you are just getting started into the cyber security that's the first question uh, the second thing is uh, let's say you have some experience one or two years working into the information security if you don't then probably you'll have to take one of the CEH training uh, uh, from the accredited uh, provider uh, that's like you know so it's somewhat like entry level certificate and this will give you a job perspective as like you know maybe a security consultant maybe you can get it as a penetration tester so as you can see here this one is for pen tester ethical hacker these are the kind of job that that uh, you can get into if you uh, once you have this credential and the equivalent to this is oscp and gpen that's also a good certificate the only reason i chose the ceh because out of all the research i've done across all the jobs ceh has found to be most uh, popular uh, across like you know uh, recruiters so that's why uh, salary wise uh, i think yeah we cannot rely much on this data because this is kind of an average salary you can see it ranges from 65 to 219 uh, depending on your experience but i would say on an average in this market if you have like couple years of experience this 109 468 is a decent uh, salary to to start with so that's our number five certified ethical hacker let's go to the next one so now as i said i'm going to cover each and every domain in the like not each and every but different domains in the cyber security of course there are so many out there we cannot cover everything but yeah i'm, I'm going to 
try to cover uh, other domains so uh, probably your interest is not in penetration test or ethical hacker but you still want to get into cyber security then this one is another option for you uh, this one is option uh, this this is a good option if you if you are interested in compliance and when I say compliance I meant IT audit ITGC uh, uh, general control audit then uh, if you're interested in SOC you're interested in ISO 27001 uh, HIPAA PCI so all sort of like you know uh, different security compliance uh, then then this is a right uh, this is a good certificate for you and and believe me uh, once you go through this uh, it will be a lot easier for you to be like you know prep for the interviews as well uh, because that's that's another uh, like you know uh, critical questions that that which comes out from the from the course that you cannot study here the cost is uh, there are two different costs if you are an Isaac R member then you only pay like 575 if you're non member then you pay 760 I would I would I would recommend to be a Isaac R member because then you can also get discounts on the study materials so which kind of offset the membership fee and you can also be part of the Isaac chapter local chapter if you if you if there is one in your local city so there is also a good recommendation that I'm gonna give uh, this is good if you are interested in compliance I said uh, this certificate one thing to note this is going to be non-technical so uh, do not expect there is a lot of study uh, the the questions are also going to be scenario based multiple choice questions but none of them are going to be technical they are mostly going to ask you questions like uh, uh, like you know different different audit and what what as an auditor uh, you would do in this uh, in this uh, scenarios so the full form of this certificate is of course certified informatics system auditor so that's why uh, the questions will be around those areas and once you get into uh, like you know IT auditor or a, or an associate auditor position uh, most of the big fours like EY uh, Deloitte uh, KPMG uh, the kind of uh, like you know uh, companies are looking for uh, this certificates so as you can see this is like you know this one is for senior IT auditor and they are still require CISA and CISSP is also equivalent but that's more for the experienced person because for CISSP I think you need a minimum of five years of experience or something for CISA as well there is some experience is needed however you can still give the exam you can pass the exam and once you submit that you have relevant experience they're gonna give you a certificate although once you pass the exam that's still a valid credential that you can uh, yet you can include in your resume now salary for CISA is somewhat equivalent to what we have seen in the CEH uh, around the same ballpark however uh, if you see the top salary uh, only goes until 150th so it's of course like you know this is a non-technical job I, I wouldn't say this is like you know you cannot go beyond 153 if you are really uh, at a senior position and you can manage uh, the compliance for your company uh, you can obviously go beyond that but don't don't worry about the salaries to be honest it doesn't matter in the long run just see what your interest is if you're more interested in the compliance then then go start with the CISA uh, third one so this is the one that I was going to talk like you know I was talking when I was discussing the CEH so security plus uh, you have seen a lot in many many job posts right uh, this is equivalent to the CEH in terms of it also gives you surface level experience and knowledge about uh, different areas they also have like hands-on lab but kind of optional if you want to explore that uh, it doesn't require much study time uh, if you have uh, like decent experience the cost is only $380 so obviously it's cheaper than the CEH the only difference uh, here is uh, compared to CEH. CEH you can guarantee to get like you know jobs like penetration tester or ethical hacker or a security consultant. Here the jobs are more kind of an administrative jobs. So you can be like a security administrator, you can be a network administrator. The one the example I've shown here is like Dev, DevSecOps, right? So if you are if you are interested in in those kind of uh, uh, fields where you you are you are managing you are good at managing like you know Active Directory uh, your company servers firewalls uh, security groups then yeah this is definitely a good uh, good like you know uh, starting point for you uh, you will be little setback by looking at the salary but again I would not uh, 
like you know consider this a lot because this is only for the security plus certificate but of course once you have like two three years of experience you're gonna grow out and then you can explore you can add more certificate to your to your credentials like uh, like a ceh and and the one that we are going to talk about the next so next one uh, is aws cloud security uh, as it sounds as it seems and as it reads it's a cloud specific certificate and in the cloud it's only uh, specific to aws although there are a lot of uh, certificate out there for the cloud security uh, this one uh, is my favorite uh, for the like you know one reason aws is a niche leader in the industry uh, although only 20 or 30 percent of uh, like you know uh, global uh, organizations have moved to the cloud out of that aws has a lot of coverage and even many companies have uh, like you know more than one cloud provider where aws is there so it won't be very difficult for you to find a job if you have one of this certificate and i think we have also covered few uh, uh, topics of this uh, particular course into our playlist as well uh, which i have pinned into the comment below uh, cost of the certificate is is very less i think it's 300 to 500 dollars uh, you can also uh, sit for the training there is there are a lot of training providers as well uh, the one that i like the most is the uh, cloud guru so if you have a subscription go for it they have a hands-on lab they have a really good instructor uh, they pretty much give you uh, all the details and then you can also learn by like you know with that lab as well so you can do that uh, there is a lot of growth opportunities once you get into the cloud uh, and once so this is somewhat related to like you know the security plus that i was i guess the next level security plus once you get into the administrative and now you want to be a cloud security specialist then this is something uh, you want to go for here you can you will learn and and you will learn how to architect the cloud but as well as you will also learn how to secure the cloud uh, based on so many options you have uh, so of course your job will be job title will be somewhere similar to like aws solution architect or security or compliance person uh, salary here is decent the median salary is 100 uh, 570 which is equivalent to what we have seen in the ceh uh, and cisa but again this domain is somewhat different this is uh, mostly for cloud so the first one we talked about ceh is penetration tester uh, cisa is for compliance security plus is for uh, admin kind of jobs and this is mostly related to the cloud uh, jobs now the last one and my favorite is the OSCP. Uh, it's, it's been so many years and there are a lot of providers have came with the new training courses and new certificates. However, OSCP still remains on the top. Uh, the reason being is uh, the training and their examination is stop notch. Although the cost you would see is the highest among all the certificates we have seen so far but believe me once you get this certificate uh, your value is always going to be top notch uh, so here you are also looking for like you know uh, a job like penetration tester or red team uh, red team or, or uh, red team or red hat hacker and stuff like that uh, because they are teaching a lot of hands-on uh, they are they are mostly focused on the kali linux uh, so you will learn each and every tool so i'm sure uh, if you are interested in cyber security you have seen a lot of tools in Kali Linux so that's what they are going to teach you, to teach in their hands on lab and you can purchase the lab for a few months and uh, like depending on what's your requirement and what's how fast you want to get into it uh, I would say this this one uh, should be like if you have a really good experience into ethical hacking then you can go straight in if not then maybe get into uh, like you know maybe a penetration test a job uh, spend spend a year or so and then uh, on the side by side if you try the labs I think that will be an ideal scenario for you to get into the OSCP so it requires really good technical expertise if you if you want to get in and again the job will be somewhat similar like a penetration test or ethical hacker uh, the salary wise it's the uh, best among all the other certificate we have seen so far but that doesn't mean you should only start with this as i said if you unless you have uh, good expertise do not sign up for this it's going to take uh, some time for you to learn and then then explore and then actually get certified the examination is really really intense 
so those are five uh, certificates which i i wanted to chat about uh, and like you know of course there are so many out there it was very very hard difficult for me to not down like only five certificates out of everything but i tried my best to like you know uh, divide between different domains because we know i i, I like i have seen questions from different people with the different uh, compliance needs so that's why i did like different certificate in this video uh, additional resources you can look into is sense uh, sense uh, the reason i did not mention any of the sense training or sense courses because they are pretty expensive and the second reason is not every everyone uh, everything is hands on uh, if you are trying for the hands on then yeah uh, you are looking into somewhere around 5 5000 to 6000 dollars or maybe beyond that 8 9000 dollars so that the training and courses are very expensive however if your your company can sponsor it uh, why not go for it uh, the oscp web 200 if you are really uh, uh, interested in learning about the web application penetration testing which we cover a lot on, in this channel like sql injection cross site scripting then yes go for this particular course or training uh, they have a really good hands on lab and and you will learn a lot uh, even if you complete the training i think it will be so much easier for you to get into uh, get job into any of this company uh, the other thing I would say uh, to get into cyber security, build your public profile. Uh, try different bug bounty. Try hack the boss, uh, hack the box, and uh, uh, hacker one kind of thing. So yeah, you build your public profile so that way people will recognize and and that will also count as a credential that yeah you can you can do all of these things. Also, if you if you love to write, probably start blog posts. Uh, like you know, start writing about different attacks that you have tried. What are the difficulties that you have faced, etc. I think that will that will be tremendous help uh, to your to your resume in the long run. Believe me or not. Uh, the, if you are looking for the cheaper course, then uh, go for Udemy. There are so many ethical hacking uh, courses at the basic level. However, one thing I would say is most of those uh, like courses and trainings we have already covered it on this channel. Uh, I have what I've done is I've actually pinned each and every course that uh, that like you know playlist that I think you guys might be interested in or you should be learning based on your based on your interest. Probably look down to the playlist and just go through it. Pro they, that will give you uh, tremendous knowledge and best expertise into. Uh, just make sure whatever you learn from out of this video, you actually apply in the real world or actually try it out in the in the uh, like you know labs. OWASP has so many open source applications and and wonderful applications where you can try all of this. So do all of this. I think this will be a really really good starting point for you to get into the cyber security in terms of certificate wise. I, I do have I have received some questions around how to like you know what should be the career path and etc so maybe if you guys are interested let me know in the comment section and I can also cover those uh, also let me know in the comment if you are interested into like you know maybe researching and and, uh, and I want to present like another four or five certificate you want me to do that maybe I can do another four or five as well if you are particularly interested in in particular domain let me know as well i can also get into that as well uh, so more you comment more i know that what kind of uh, like you know resources that you're looking for and, and i can research about that so i think that's it uh, for this video uh, let me know uh, how do you like it any certificate that you hold i think that will also be uh, really good in terms of survey so people others who are reading and, and going through the videos they will also know uh, which certificate is more popular and also if you can share your your exam experience uh, that will be immensely helpful thank you